Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. If you do want to see a review and a demo, then please keep watching. As a huge favorite, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back. This retails for $14 each on elf.com. It will be available in 2021, early next year. That's what it says on their Instagram. I do want to read a little bit about this CC cream on their website. A medium to full coverage color correcting foundation with SPF 30 protection. Medium to full coverage foundation with a natural finish formulated with SPF 30 to protect against sun damage. Multitasking foundation that provides skincare benefits infused with hydrating and youth boosting ingredients known to improve skin texture and tone. It goes on to list the key ingredients, which is collagen known to improve skin elasticity 100% vegan hyaluronic acid helps provide hydration by locking in moisture resulting in a plumped up bouncy complexion niacinamide to help brighten and even out skin tone and peptides for a more refreshed complexion here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like I do like the holographic packaging this one came damaged well the packaging came damaged but yeah this is what the actual packaging should have looked like I purchased two different shades the two shades I purchased are medium 355 W with warm golden under undertones and medium 330 W with warm olive undertones. On the back of the packaging it tells you a description about the product and you have the ingredients. On both sides it does say camo CC cream. On the bottom of the packaging you do have the barcode and the expiration date so mine expires July 2022. Since this one is already open I might as well open this up. Here's what the actual packaging looks like. I do love that this comes in a squeezy tomb and it also comes with a pump. I think this shade might be a little bit too light on me. This is medium 355W. On the back, you do have the directions. So let's go ahead and try this out. Here's what the shade in medium 355W looks like. Wow, this is thick. I currently don't have anything applied on my skin. My skin is currently bare. I don't have any primer on, no moisturizer, nothing. So I'm just gonna apply this on my bare skin. Seems a little bit too light on me. Let's hope the next shade matches. This shade might be a little bit too light because the previous shade was medium 355W. But let's see what it looks like. This shade is lighter. I think the pictures online are a little bit weird because I thought medium 330W would work for me or medium 355. Now I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't know. It looks like I might have to purchase two new different shades. These two are a little bit too light. For today, I think I'm gonna apply the shade in 355W. It was the first shade we tried on. Since the other one is a little bit too light, I forgot to mention this only comes in 20 different shades. I do think e.l.f. will expand their shade range. Pump. Another little pump here. I'm gonna wait till these swatches dry down and then I will apply a fresh pump. On the right side of my face, I'm gonna be blending it out using my damp beauty blender. My damp beauty blender did soak up a lot of the product. Let's see what blending it out using a brush looks like. Here's what one layer looks like. I'm gonna apply a second layer to see if we can build it up. Here's what the foundation is currently looking like. I made sure to work in sections this time. The first time I did feel like it was a little bit harder to blend out because it was sitting on the skin for a little bit of time. Here's what the foundation looks like. I won't be setting this foundation and I won't be applying any additional product on top of it. I will be wearing this as is and I will check back in with you guys towards the end of the night to see what we're looking like. I do want to show you guys what the foundation looks like after it did dry down. So I do feel like the shade did dry down a little bit darker. This shade as well. Let's apply a fresh pump of the shade in medium 355W. We're going to do a fresh pump right beside it. As you guys can see, it did dry down darker so it does oxidize. Let's do a fresh pump of medium 330W. Looks like it does dry down darker. Here's one last look on what everything looks like. I 
I will check back in with you guys at the end of the night and I will see you guys then. Hey guys, it is the end of the night of me testing out the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Here's what the foundation is currently looking like. This particular shade in 355W has a golden undertone to it. That's why it's looking a little bit yellow. I did purchase two additional shades. Hopefully those shades would match me better. Even though the shade match was off, I do like how it did wear throughout my day. Well, it did kind of crease where my eyelids are and it did settle into my crease on my neck. Even underneath my eyes, it did crease. I think that's because I did not set the CC cream, which is totally my fault. I knew that we weren't gonna set anything. We weren't gonna put any product on top of it either. It actually lasted a really long time. Overall, I really do like how it did wear throughout my day. I am a little bit shiny here where my cheek area is, which is totally normal for me. So far, I really do like this formula. I'll check back in with you guys when my new shades do arrive. I will see you guys then. Hey guys, it is day three of me testing out the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. It's finally arrived, my two brand new shades that I ordered. The two shades I purchased was Tan 415C and Medium 375N. So let's see if these match me because the other two shades were a little bit too light. The first shade we're going to try is medium 375N. Let's see what this shade looks like. Here's what the shade in 375N looks like. This looks like a good match. We have tan 415C. I'm not too sure about this shade. Here we have medium 375N which looks like a good match. And here's 415C, which looks a little bit too gray. Today we're gonna to be using 375N. Let me remove these swatches. And again, I will be applying this on my bare skin. I don't have anything applied, no moisturizer, no primer, nothing. The first time we tested out the CC cream, I forgot to try it out with the Complexion Duo brush. I purchased this on their website. This retails for $8, and it does say a two-in-one brush designed for the application of foundation and concealer. It creates a flawless airbrush look. The only tool you'll need to apply the Camo CC foundation and Camo CC concealer. Ideal for use with liquids and powders, synthetic and vegan bristles. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like for the brush. It says Complexion Duo Elf. And then on the back, it tells you a little description about the brush. Let's open this up. Here's what the actual brush looks like. The bristles do feel very soft. I won't be applying the concealer today, but we'll definitely test out the brush side. Here's what the swatches look like dried down on the back of my hand. I'm going to be applying a fresh pump of the shade in medium 370N. It does dry down darker. I won't be applying the shade in tan 415C because it is drying down way too dark. I'm gonna pump out a fresh pump so you guys can see what it looks like. Here's what those shades look like. As you guys can see, it did dry down pretty dark. As I did mention earlier, I'm gonna be using the shade in medium 375N. I'm gonna apply a pump here and then I'll dot the foundation brush. And then we'll apply this to the face. The brush does feel a little bit flimsy, but I do like the bristles. It's applying the foundation really nicely. I'm gonna apply one more big pump on the back of my hand. This shade does seem like it does match me a little bit better versus the other two shades. Hopefully down the line, e.l.f. does expand their shade range. Here's one layer of the CC cream. It will dry down darker like it did on the back of my hand, so I don't mind it being a little bit too light. I'm going to build this up to a second layer. Picking another two pumps. Here's what two layers look like.
I did really like how the brush blended out the foundation. I also purchased the Lash Out Loud Mascara from e.l.f. This is a volumizing mascara. It retails for $6. It does say a mega volume mascara that helps your lashes look fuller, bolder, and longer than ever. Achieve mega volume lash instantly formulated with intensely rich pigments for bolder than ever lashes. Flexible silicone brush grips lashes from root to tip for insane volume. Let's see if this mascara lives up to its claims. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like and then here's the back of the packaging. On the side you have the picture of the bristle and then on the other side it says lash out loud. And then on the bottom you have the barcode. What the mascara tube looks like. Let's see what the wand looks like. Here's the wand. It's an okay mascara so far. Let's see how long it wears. For lips, I'm going to be applying the Hydrating Core Lip Shine from e.l.f. This is in the shade Happy. If you guys have not seen my lip swatch review, I'll leave it right over here in the cards if you guys are interested. Here's one last look on what everything looks like. I will check back in with you guys at the end of the night and I will see you guys then. Hey guys, it is the end of the night of me testing out the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream in the shade Medium 375N. Here's what it's currently looking like. expected the shade to dry down a little bit darker, a little bit too light for me. It did settle into my neck wrinkles, as you guys can see, and also where my eyelids are. That's because we did not set the CC cream. Tomorrow when we test out the CC cream, we're going to be using a primer. We're going to be setting it. We'll be applying my current makeup products on top of it, like my blush, my bronzer. So far, so good. I really do like the formula. I will check back in with you guys tomorrow and I will see you guys then. Hey guys, it is day five of me testing out the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Today we're gonna be setting the CC Cream, we're gonna be putting my favorite products on top of it, and we're gonna see how it wears throughout the day. I've already primed and moisturized my skin. For moisturizer, I went with the Belief True Cream Moisturizer, and for primer, I used the Tatcha Liquid Canvas. Taking a clean foundation brush, I'm gonna pump out two pumps of the CC Cream on the foundation brush, apply it all over. The shade I'm gonna be using is a medium 375N. I definitely like using a brush with the CC cream, that way you can get more coverage. Taking two more pumps of the CC cream. For concealer, I applied the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer in the shade Tan Walnut. I set everything using my Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. For bronzer, I went in with my Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer in the shade Island Thing. For blush, I used the e.l.f. Putty Blush in the shade Caribbean. For mascara, I applied the e.l.f. Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. The mascara is good. I like how it lengthens. I don't think it volumizes. I applied two coats. For lips, I applied the ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil in the shade Dewdrop. Here's how everything turned out. I'm going to check back in with you guys at the end of the night, and I will see you guys then. Hey guys, it is the end of the night of me testing out the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream in the shade 375N. Here's what we're currently looking like. I did wear a face mask today. That's why it did smear where my nose area is. So it's definitely not mask proof or transfer proof and I forgot to set the foundation using a setting spray but I did set it with my setting powder so tomorrow I will be trying it with everything plus the setting spray which I totally forgot. It did settle in into my neck wrinkles again. I did set the CC cream so I'm not sure why it keeps gathering where my neck wrinkles are. It didn't gather where my eyelids were. And I remember setting that. As for the mascara, I don't like how it performed. It did smear underneath my eyes, so you guys can see. But I do like how it lengthens. It just doesn't volumize, and this mascara is supposed to be a volumizing mascara, 
So it's just a okay mascara. It's not something that I would personally run out and purchase. I'm gonna keep playing with the mascara and I will keep you guys posted at the end of the week. So far so good. I'm loving how the CC cream works with my other products. I will check back in with you guys on day seven and I will see you guys then. Hey guys, it is the end of the week of me testing out the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I forgot to swatch all the shades on my skin. That's what I'm gonna be doing before I apply the shade in medium 375N. The first shade is medium 330W. I'm gonna do one pump. Again, here's medium 330W. This one was way too light. Next shade is medium 355W. Here we have medium 355W. The next shade is medium 375N, which seems to be my perfect match. Here's medium 375N. The last shade is 415C. The last shade is tan 415C. Here's what all four shades look like. As you guys can see, even in medium 375N, it doesn't really match me, but these do dry down darker as when you first pump them out. I'm gonna remove these swatches, and then I'll let you guys know my final thoughts on the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. My final thoughts on the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream is that I like the formula, I just don't like the price point. It did not have to be $14. It could have been $10, maybe $8. And another thing that I did notice, these CC Creams come half full. For example, in the shade Tan 415C, which I barely used, barely use this shade and look how much product it looks like I used. I'm not sure if e.l.f. is filling these up halfway. Same thing with the shade in medium 330W. I only pumped out one or two pumps. If you guys have noticed that your e.l.f. CC cream came half full, please let me know in the comments down below. Going back to the price point of these CC creams, like I did mention earlier, it did not have to be $14. Their full coverage foundation, which is this one here, this retails for $6. So why did this have to be $14? The e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation, this is a full coverage foundation. It retails for $6 and it's full coverage. It's definitely way better than the e.l.f. Camo CC cream. I would highly recommend getting this versus a bunch of these shades. The shade range is so off with the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I don't think the shade range online matches the actual shade range. The shade range, it doesn't look like this on the back of my hand, like how they photographed it on their website. This formula does oxidize, it does dry down darker. I'm not a huge fan of this formula. I don't like how it was filled up halfway. $14 is too expensive in my opinion, especially for e.l.f. The e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush, I did like the bristles, but I wasn't a huge fan of the handle. The handle is a little bit small in my opinion, I just wanted it to be a little bit longer. That was the only issue that I didn't like about this brush, but I did really like the bristles. It did blend out the CC cream really nicely. I didn't get a chance to use the concealer side. We'll continue to use this brush for $8. It's an okay price. The e.l.f. Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. I don't think this mascara is volumizing. It does lengthen, but I'm not a huge fan of this mascara because I don't like the wand. The rubber bristles are so pokey. I poked myself a couple of times in the eye using the wand. The bristles are very spiky. The wand is rubber. That's my final thoughts on the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I thought I would apply the foundation with you guys while telling you my final thoughts. I guess that didn't happen. If you guys have tried the CC Cream, please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.